Hi guys, so this will be the eighth video of the 450 questions love bubber series. In this video, we shall be completing the arrays part. So we have done uh, six videos already I have done and uh, we have solved more than 20 problems. They are good problems only. Some are very simple, some are a bit confusing, but they're okay. If you have not seen them, you can check them out in the playlist. I'll put the description and you can also find this questions link, this sheet in the description, okay? So today we have to do the uh, only three problems. Three-way partitioning of array, minimum number of operations to make palindrome, medium of two sorted arrays. So median of two sorted arrays of different size. Uh, actually, I don't know log of n solution. There is a log of n solution for this. I am not able to understand how to do that. But median of two sorted arrays of different size can be done in O of n plus m, O of n time. That is, you can just do merging because the arrays are already sorted. Just merge the two arrays. Okay. And if the length if the resultant length is even, then uh, return the middle value. Otherwise, sorry, return the average of middle values. If the length is odd, then return the middle value. <coughs> so there is actually another solution, which is O of log n time. Uh, I don't know that solution as of now. Maybe when I learn later, I will share it with you. But O of n solution is simple only. If you want any further reference, you can go to the GFG website. They will tell the same thing. Just have to merge the array, both the arrays. So this problem is temporarily done. Let us see this problem, three-way partitioning of array. So we are given an array of elements and a range A comma B. And all elements smaller than A come first. All elements in the range A comma B come after this. And all elements greater than B will come in the end. We have to rearrange the array such that these three conditions are satisfied. So actually there is a quick sort solution that I will be sharing with you. It is something like a flag based quick sort. So the very simple small code is this much only. Just keep two pointers start and end and run a loop till i is less than end. And initially i is equal to zero. So this is the code for this problem. There are other solutions also, but I think this is the fastest. This will be in O of log, sorry, O of end time, I guess. So three-way partitioning, it is like this. I hope all of you looked at the code. You can understand by looking at the code itself. There is nothing much to explain. Just have to follow these three conditions and write the code. It is basic swapping only, but use of uh, something like two pointer also. So last problem is minimum number of operations required to make array palindrome. So we will be given an array and one operation we can merge any two elements. That is any two adjacent elements we can merge and replace with their sum. So we have to find out how many such operations is possible. So to solve this question, let us take input. Let us take a variable j, let it be n minus one, let i be zero. It is again like a two pointer problem only. So if a of i is equal to a of j, the corner elements are equal. So we will do i plus plus j minus minus. We will move both the pointers else if a of i is greater than a of j. Hmm. 
then we will do j minus minus a of j plus is a of j plus 1 we are merging here so this is the merge operation and we'll do ans plus plus let us keep a variable called ans the answer otherwise what we will do i plus plus a of i plus equal to a of i minus 1 answer plus plus finally we will print the answer so let us see if we get the correct answer or not it's taking a lot of time i don't know why so it did not give us the answer should i run it again okay yeah it has given the answer i was checking like this my bad i'm very sorry the answer is already displayed so we are getting the correct answer as you can see here 1 and 3 we are getting it here also so this is the code for this problem merge like merge over here means add two values and remove those two and replace it with their sum so minimum operations to make the array a palindrome is this but remember one thing here elements are all positive that is why the solution is working if elements are negative i don't know how to do it somebody in the comments please let me know how to do it if the elements are negative this solution will not work if elements are negative only for positive elements as mentioned in the problem it will work so we are done with arrays okay uh now next video we will start with matrix and matrix only 10 questions are there so i think three videos will be enough So please share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel like them if you really like my work it motivates me a lot and uh, let me know in the comments if there are some better answers i also will learn everybody will learn so st stay safe keep learning keep growing i'll see you in the next video bye